All right, y'all. Big Daddy is lit up. So I've been here all day at the shop. Well, majority of the day, I've been here probably over eight hours. Um, fixing a lot of, of my wiring issues, man. Take me time about how he watching my videos, got him motivated to get out here and work on his truck, man. And he been working on the lights on his truck, man. So that actually got me motivated to come out here and fix the lights on my truck. So, you know, he motivating me, I'm motivating him, man. That's how it's supposed to be out here in this trucking game. So anyways, here's what I did. I set these up right here. I've had these on the truck for a long time, man, and never had the lights actually set up to work. So I got them working as running lights as well as the blinkers. Same thing on the driver's side. Um, went ahead and installed these lights right here, LED lights. Um, come with the visor on them, all chromed out. Went ahead and installed those, set them up nice and neat. Um, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, man, on how to wire this stuff. And um, that's pretty much what, what has went down. Same thing right here. Set this, set these up right here too. Got it nice and neat. Got the little chrome on it. Um, cleaned up the wiring as well up there. Um, same thing up under the hood, man. Um, all these wirings that I did, man, I cleaned it up real nice. Taped it up real nice. Um, zip tied it up real nice and out the way. And uh, man, I'm, I'm actually happy with the outcome of it. Um, same thing on the driver's side, man. Um, I got these, I got these lights ran right here. Got everything nice and clean. Um, chromed out, like I said, chrome vi uh, chrome bezels on them, or what do you call them, visors on them. Man, it looks nice. Um, same thing with this one right here. Now here's a funny thing about these lights right here, man. I done paid two shops to fix these lights right here, and I end up fixing it myself. Um, crazy, but hey, it is what it is. So um, next thing I'll probably attempt to do is these lights right here, the sleeper lights. Um, and then, honestly, in my opinion, these breather lights right here are now throwing off the whole front of the truck, man. It's kind of throwing it off, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, man, just look at that, man. I got all the lights working now. Like I said, we're supposed to be going OTR and Big Daddy. So um, I don't want to have any lighting issues when it comes to DOT, because more than likely, I'm probably going to be running just Texas and Oklahoma. And anybody that runs Oklahoma, y'all know the Oklahoma scales are damn near always open. They don't close to about two o'clock in the morning and they back open at like six o'clock in the morning. So I'm trying to um, not have to deal with that issue right there. But yeah, so that's Big Daddy right there, man. LED lights for the mirror, for the hood. Like I said, wired those um, bezel lights right there. And then we'll go ahead and put the blinkers on so we can show y'all that everything is blinking. Um, the next thing I'm gonna have to do, I still haven't ordered these yet, but um, I done been out here working on lights all day, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle these as well um, as the other side. And like I said, I am gonna go ahead and redo these as well. I got them all LEDs. Let's go ahead and put the hazards on. All my little wiring kits, man. I got so many wiring kits, it don't make no sense. We got these three blinking right here. And we got these three blinking as well. And then that one in the back, they also blink as well, man. So yeah, I done did the damn thing. It looks nice in my opinion. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm excited. Um, like I said, I'm going to do all the lights that I can myself. I was originally just going to pay somebody to do it. But I had to force myself to stop being lazy, man. I'm trying to um, force my mind to learn um, learn different things. So um, that one on the right side, the driver's side is blinking real bright. My driver's side one isn't, my passenger side one isn't blinking, blinking as light, as bright as it was. So um, my understanding that could possibly be a ground issue. That's something I can look into a little later. Um, I, like I said, I've been here a majority of the day. And I mean, yeah, man, this is pretty much the truck right here. Um, I do have a change coming here shortly. When I say shortly, I'm talking about in the next two days. So y'all stay tuned for that. But yeah, man, that's Big Daddy right there, man. He's nice. I'm loving it, man. I, I, just loving it. So now I guess I'll just do let um, take off the hazards and let it blink on each side. So we can just do get that out the way. So we'll do the driver's side. Can I put the driver's side on? I thought I put the driver's side on.
something going on with the blinker, but I mean, hey. We got this one blinking. And that one's blinking all bright, so I don't know what's going on. We'll figure it out. But I mean, hey, it looked good, right? It looked real good. But hey, that's Big Daddy. That's my uh, work for today. Um, honestly, I, what I originally w wanted to do was to, today was to record um, how I pretty much um, get on the load board, look for loads, record myself calling brokers and stuff. But um, today was a shit show, man. They, when I was talking, when I'm saying they was talking is cheap stuff, they was talking cheap stuff, and I, it, it didn't even make sense to call on it, man. When this shit's so cheap, I'm not even gonna waste my time. Um, lows that I've been pulling for six fifty to seven hundred dollars. You're talking about four fifty. Hey, y'all can keep that. I'm not gonna run it. So um, yeah, man, there go Big Daddy, man. This is how I spent majority of my day right here, um, here working on the truck. Um, so this is my my Monday to work on the truck day, man. Tomorrow we'll move on to the next truck. So y'all stay tuned. Um, just to um, throw in a little extra, day cab is out of the shop, man. Day cap should be hitting the road in two days. So we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. If you have any questions or concerns, drop it in the comment section below. If you want to get in contact with me, send me an email at truckingwithbigdaddy at gmail.com. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.